main advantage of the approach track is over, over traditional CNC, Siemens, Fanuc, things like that is, is the ability to use it as a traditional manual machine. Um, in, this, in, this, in this page here, um, it is essentially a manual lathe with a few extra bells and whistles, but fundamentally, if you're coming from a manual, you can use this machine straight away just by using this page here. Obviously, you want to use programs then. It's as simple as clicking program. Okay, it'll then ask for a program name and then go to the beginning of the program. We then have the ability to all our cycles along the bottom. Okay, and we have a look screen. So as we're building a program, it is drawing the part for us. If you make a mistake, it's very quick and easy to tell what you've done wrong. So let's just do a quick cycle, okay? You want to rough down a bit of bar. So let's say we want to do a 50 millimeter shaft and we're going to start at Z0. We're going to take a three mil depth of cut. We're going to feed in the Z axis. Surface speed, so the, feed, the, the speed you want the spindle to run at. So that's the 220 meters a minute. And we're going to go at 0.3 per revolution. And we're going to use tool one for roughing. It'll then ask for a finish cut. We want 0.4. And we're going to use the same surface speed for finishing with a slightly slower feed rate to get us a nice surface finish. And we couldn't use a separate finishing tool if you so wish. Okay, and then pause before finish cut. We're okay with no. So there's our previous event. And now it's a case of just drawing the part. Cycle turn, we're going to stay at 50 diameter, and we're going to go minus 200 long. Okay, and no chamfers. Okay, and then all we need to do is we turn out to our diameter, our bar size diameter. So let's say it was 75 bar, and our Z had still been minus 200. And again, no chamfer. This gives it our L. So that is our component. We then use cycle position just to define the material. So we said 75 bar, and the front of the job is zero. That is added our material in. We just press end cycle, cycle not closed. It will automatically close the cycle for us, so it's a continuous loop. You have roughed down some 75 mil bar down to 50 millimeters. You can then check this by using the setup feature. Okay, we'll assign a tool to it. And we can do tool path. That is our component with a four minutes run time. So it's giving you your runtime as well. Yes. You've done, and, and if there's other cycles like you, you we, we looked at over grooving, boring, yeah. all of those, all the same, yeah. similar programming in the same way. Yes, but all the similar. It's a, it's a question and answer. So you answer the questions, it creates the, the cycles for you. And because it's drawing the component as you're doing it, you can see straight away what you are doing.